Hey, welcome back everybody. Here's episode 5, I think it is. Anyways, we checking our vitals. Waking up from a nap, checking our vitals again afterwards. And now we're just enjoying this beautiful sunrise. As we sit here and think about what we're going to get done today, we go ahead and uh, empty out our inventory slots and decide to take a swim back over to the boat now that we have light again. And being that it's morning and we now have some sunlight again, we think we're going to explore the top side of this boat. And, and try to get inside where it would be harder to see if there was no light to use. <laughs> we first find this container. Uh, we don't know what's in it, but we try to get on top of it for a little vantage point, and we pull our spear out because we know there's sharks in these waters. We find barrels on the inside chained up. Uh, they were probably on the outside of the shipping container, but we got them. And we also got bit here, you can see. You can also be aware of the fact that we had trouble getting back on top of the shipping container. So if that was an intelligent shark, we could have been very much in trouble. We finally get back on top of the cargo container and we see our barrels floating on the surface of the water, but we're more interested in what the shark is up to. We take a look around to try to find him, and then we notice this weirdo's just doing circles here. We get our spear out. Now after seeing that this shark is in whatever state that he's in, uh, we, we realize it's really just a matter, if we can hold him in that position, it's just a matter of timing the, the stabs of the spear. After the shark continues to try to run circles around me, I'm just going to stand here and stick my spear into the water once in a while and try and time out a good jab. Now at this point I wasn't sure if the shark was dead or stopped doing the weird thing that it was doing. I take a look inside the shipping container and I realize that the shark is dead in there. Here I am dragging my personal best <laughs> shark catch. Yeah, you heard it. Personal best shark catch. As I'm dragging my trophy up to the shore, I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I wonder what shark tastes like. But it won't go bad that quick, so we let it sit there, and we head back out to the boat while we still have daylight. Realizing we can't grab drag while we have a spear. We now also realize it's day two, and we've survived two days on Stranded Day. And as I'm concerned I could be losing daylight, I didn't check my watch. 
I just went ahead and tried to find more supplies while I could. We continue to try to drag these barrels we collected. Our physical stat upgraded, probably from all the swimming, as swimming can be a great exercise. Here I am taking a swim down under the surface of the water to collect up some tires here rope down to the ship deck. I realized I could throw items I was grab dragging, but I was thinking with the axe in my hand it was using up more stamina than I would be if I was just doing it with my hand. It is kind of a bit of work to drag all of these items along. And the kind of work that we don't like. It's not even hard work. It, it's just time consuming and labor intensive. But as always, we go ahead and get it done because that's what we gotta do. We go ahead and try to axe down the hinges on this metal door because we're sure that we can. a little bit of searching along the top of the boat. We see some more tires, but we're more interested in checking the inside now before the sunlight goes away. As we go up for a breath, we get ready to go back down and search the cabin. And in the first locker we find a wooden plank, a vehicle filter part, and a leather strap. We then find a wooden box laying on the floor of the cabin. We go back up for air before we go back down to look for more loot. Find some more lockers, but we need to go get some air first. And then we go back down to find them the loot inside those lockers, and it turns out to be pretty useful. We realize we can't carry all of the good loot inside these lockers, so we try to figure out what, what I could drop for it, and I don't really want to, so... I took myself top side of the water over top of the shipping container so that I could sort through these boxes I found and make room in my inventory. After sorting through all of the loot, I figured out how to make some room in my inventory to go back into the boat. But first I get myself a fresh breath of air before I go down and search underwater again. Head back into the cabin to get them rations and any other loot we can find on this breath of air. And 
not wanting to risk it too much, I try to grab the loot and the bottle as quick so that I don't run out of air. After I collect myself, realizing I have a lot collected, and though I left a lantern and a flare gun in there that I really want, I'm thinking if I should take all this stuff back to my campsite or keep trying to look around and figure out what's here and what's important. So I see them three tires that were roped to the top of the boat, and I think it's about time to chop them. After chopping loose some other tires that were on the other side of the top, we drag them all back. While getting them all dragged up onto the shore, I started feeling pretty confident about my boat. My physical upgrades again. I'll be honest, this is why I don't like this kind of work. I'm just swimming back and forth, carrying tires. Now I sped this part up because this was honestly even worse than the long walks and back and forth. This was just chucking tires a couple feet at a time over and over. Once I got settled back at the campsite, I started unloading the inventory that I found on the boat. We dropped our planks and our metal sheets into their pals. We drop our new cargo box near the life raft. We pull out all the vehicle parts and components because we're going to make those in a separate pal. It's almost nighttime, so we turn our lantern on now that we have a lantern. We're pretty happy about that. Well, here we have me trying to take my lantern and put it on top of the life raft so that I have kind of a lighthouse thing to go. Um, it didn't work right. Mostly because my... I, my, I wanted to make it better standing up, you know, and then I just had a mess. I finally managed to get it back on top of the life raft, and at this point I'm not worried about having it stand straight up. And there you have it, folks. That's this episode. We're going to end this one with me getting my light up on top of my life raft. It looks amazing to me. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Maybe watch the next one if you're into that. You might enjoy it. We're going to start getting better the more I go, I think.